A character, Alan Joseph, played by Roshan Matthew, asks his wife Achala, "Ki didn't your mother used to say that a slow flame cooks the best food?" This actually summarizes the entire essence of this show. Hi, I'm Pratiksha Mishra, and you're listening to my review of Poacher. Yeah, my show. Hai. There is very rarely a show that just feels like it has so much heart in it. Ki kuch kuch flaws ab dekhe bhi nazar andaaz kar dete ho. Ki chalo, thik hai yar. It's not such a show. Hai. Kuch na kuch galat to hoga hi. I was kind of thinking about the Jenga Baru curse, jo pehle aaya tha, which was so well written. It was, I think, kind of a sci-fi ecological thriller, but. इट फेल शॉर्ट बिकॉज उसका एग्जीक्यूशन उतना अच्छा नहीं था विथ पोचर दैट डज नॉट हैपन दिस इज अ शो दैट इज बोथ राइटिंग वाइज डायरेक्शन वाइज एक्टिंग वाइज एंड टेक्निकली दैट्स नॉट बोथ नो दैट्स फोर थिंग्स बट इधर वे ऑल ऑफ दिस इज सो सो साउंड पोचर इज बेस्ड ऑन द ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन टू द आईवरी पोचिंग इन इंडिया एंड इज एसेंशियली हेल्प्ड बाय एन अमेजिंग निमिषा सजयन एज द प्रोटेगनिस्ट माला जोगी माला जोगी बहुत ही एक कंफर्टेबल लाइफ लीड कर रही है अपने बर्ड सेंचुरी में दो शी इज़ काइंड ऑफ अ लिटिल क्यूरियस कि अभी जितने बर्ड्स आया करते थे उतने क्यों नहीं आ रहे हैं वी गेट अ बिट ऑफ अ हिंट इन टू वेर द शो इज गोइंग फ्रॉम हियर बट इस कंफर्टेबल लाइफ से उनके सीनियर उनको बोलते हैं कि भाई इधर आ जाओ बहुत बड़ा इन्वेस्टिगेशन करना एंड वी नीड यू बिकॉज यू आर आर बेस्ट इट फील्स लाइक शी इज़ अ सुपर हीरो एंड दैट इज़ प्रॉबेबली वाई हर स्टॉन्च आइडियलिज्म और दैट स्टोइक नेचर डज नॉट फील दैट ऑफ पुटिंग क्योंकि आप उनको स्टार्टिंग से एक एक सुपर हीरो की तरह देख रहे हो हर सीनियर नील बैनर्जी प्लेड बाय दिबेंदु भट्टाचार्य यूज टू बी अ रॉ एजेंट बट इज नाउ वर्किंग इन वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉन्जर्वेशन वी फाइंड आउट दैट हिज मोटिवेशन इज कि वो अपने बच्चों के लिए या अपने सक्सेसर्स के लिए एक हेल्दी एनवायरनमेंट छोड़ना चाहते हैं एंड ही थिंक्स दैट इफ एवरी गोज द वे दैट इज गोइंग द वे दैट हिज हेल्थ हैज बिन अफेक्टेड इज गोइंग टू बी द रियलिटी फॉर एवरी वन अराउंड हिम द बेस्ट थिंग द एब्सोल्यूट बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट पोचर इज कि वो कभी भी अपने नेचुरल सेटिंग से बाहर नहीं निकलता है in the sense that when they're in delhi you can hear gari galoch you can hear stray dogs barking the sound of traffic aur jab wo forest mein shift hote hain aapko forest ka ambient sound sunai deta hai the way language plays a role in poacher is very very interesting kabhi bhi aisa nahi lagta hai ki they're trying to create a pan indian show it just feels like a show that's rooted in india a lot of languages come and go in and out constantly throughout the show jaise ki mala and alan speak to each other in malayalam when they're conducting their investigations it's mostly conducted in malayalam when their senior is speaking to them he switches to hindi or english they themselves switch to english beech beech mein and at the same time we see how when neel goes home to his wife or his niece he is speaking in bengali which is his native tongue one issue with poacher is that it kind of starts to lull in the middle unka run time episodes ka bahut hi lamba hai beech beech mein 45 minutes to an hour i think at some point i loved episode 2 of the show so much that i think mujhe isliye baad ke do teen episodes thode se dull lage in comparison does not mean that they are bad episodes but if you're not binge watching it i don't think that should be much of a problem one thing that might kind of stand out for everyone is that it feels a little too dramatic towards the end jo good versus evil wala battle tha of like these good agents these few good agents having finally tackled all the bureaucracy found the rich and powerful and are now trying to take them down huge stakes in any show immensely massive stakes but ye bahut hi zyada dramatized ho jata hai last ke episode mein and it feels a little fake which is kind of a sad thing you can even the cgi animals in the show are eerily real so it just stands out like a sore thumb cg animals ki agar baat kare i just love the way the animal characters in this show are just present throughout the show jab aap in animals ko city scapes mein dekhte ho you feel like they're out of place but ye feeling tab nahi aati hai jab हमारे ह्यूमन कैरेक्टर्स एक गाड़ी लेके जंगल में से जा रहे हैं इट्स अ ग्रेट इनसाइट इन टू हाउ ह्यूमन हैव एनक्रोच्ड अपॉन एनिमल्स नेचुरल हैबिटेट अ लॉट ऑफ दीज एनिमल्स आल्सो एक्ट एज मोटिव्स ऑन द शो फ्रॉम सीइंग ईगल्स व्हेन देयर सर्वेलेंस टू सीइंग बैट्स व्हेन देयर वर्किंग बहुत देर रात को द वे दैट दिस शो हैज जस्ट वीव द एनिमल्स इन द शो इज अमेजिंग क्योंकि अगर आप पोचिंग पे शो बना रहे हो एंड योर एंटायर फोकस वुड हैव बिन ऑन ह्यूमन कैरेक्टर्स इट वुड हैव सीम्ड लाइक क्रूअल आयरनी Poacher is written and directed by Richie Mehta jinka naam aapne pehle Delhi crime se juda hua suna hoga which in itself is a great show us show ke kuch shadows bhi aapko yahan dekhne ko milte hain from just the nuanced portrayal of security forces without making them completely whitewashed to just the staunch idealism of the protagonist even as our main team captures one poacher after another they have to reconcile with the fact ki ye sab unke naak ke niche hi ho raha tha that it kind of signals lapses in their own team's judgment poacher does not want to give you easy answers it does not ever say ki ye teen char log acche hain ye teen char log bure hain and it's just this versus that it's always kind of digging into its own premise it's figuring out ki any person who's acting a certain way why are they acting that certain way even if it is something as simple as guilt or greed 
the show is not interested in painting any of them in black and white. For a show like this, camera work is very, 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 very important. And in this, thankfully, it is done beautifully well. हम लोग वो white shots में वो पूरे जंगल का scene दिखता है, where you can truly marvel at the beauty of the landscape and also see कि जो हमारे human characters हैं, they're so small, they're so small in this vast landscape. And then there are these highly emotional moments जहाँ पे camera आपको close-ups देता है, reaction shots देता है, where you can truly understand the character's psyche even if they're not saying much. This obviously is also a huge credit to the director and the writers for the way that they have written these scenes. The sound design itself is also amazing. Yes, I said earlier, the show never leaves its natural setting and that is not possible without having great sound design. To wrap things off, Poacher is mostly held together by its cast. The supporting cast is brilliant, the main cast is even more so. We have Devendu Bhattacharya in a character that almost feels Oogwe-like from what is that? Kung Fu Panda? Yeah, he feels like a mentor, but he's a mentor who's just done. He just wants to finish this and get out of there. He just wants to leave a better world and a better department. We also see that his love for turtles that starts off a little bit like a quirk or maybe a secret strategy becomes a metaphor for life and aging and family. And it's, ah, it's just so nice to watch. Roshan Matthew has a bit of a family man-esque arc, while Manoj Bajpayee's character was more frustrated to the point of being comic. But Roshan Matthew chooses more earnesty. There are some scenes that could have felt cheesy, but because of his performance and that of his wife, played by Ranjita Menon, just bring it all together and just make it adorable. Like I said, some shows and some performances are so good that some flaws you're just being like, chalo jaane do. And the show's main protagonist, just Nimisha Sajayan, at her best, honestly, one of the best performances I've seen in a while. She is constantly being watched. Her character is always under surveillance in a way. Log dekh rahe ki, oh, what's her next step going to be? They're kind of wondering, is her mask going to fall? Is she finally going to break? Is she finally going to be able to absolve herself of her guilt? All of this watching makes her very tightly wound. But at the same time, there are moments where you see sincerity. You see how this is a character that is genuinely just wants to save the environment, but is also doing it for self-serving reasons. And this is just at the heart of Poacher. It understands human psyche, animal psyche. It understands just the own beating heart that's at the center of it. And that is what makes it such a phenomenal watch. Theek hai beech mein do teen problems hai. But I would suggest that you kind of let them go and stay with the show till the end. Because like a slow flame cooks a great dish, a slow burn leads to a great show. And that is why my rating for Poacher is 4 stars out of 5.